Tyndall Academy administrators want to make commuting to school easier for students. At tomorrow's school board meeting, they're asking for about $13 million to build a new middle school on base. News 13's Chloe Sparks joins us live in the studio. And Chloe, what does Tyndall Academy setup look like now? Amy, the K through five goes to the elementary school facility on base. Sixth and seventh graders are in portables on the same campus, but the eighth graders, they have to go elsewhere for school. Tyndall Air Force personnel work hard every day to defend our country, but defense isn't the only duty for many in the military, especially parents. And right now their children are spread out over several school campuses. Well, I think the idea of having a middle school has been tossed around for a number of years, and we've always thought it would be really great to be able to provide that to our military community. Academy officials are finally jumping at the opportunity to lay out the groundwork for a middle school. It's beneficial for our military families especially who come in and, and they're here for maybe three to five years and if they have students at multiple grade levels it's it's a nice convenience to all be on one setting. Daner says school board members approved the plan for the new building in December. Now they need to approve the guaranteed maximum price or GMP. They're asking for about 13 million dollars of the FEMA funds. Typically this is a project that would take 12 to 14 months completion uh, we are, due to COVID and supply chain issues, we are bumping that back a little bit. This will probably be a 16 to 18 month project when it's all said and done. The new building will feature science labs and designated spaces for pre-engineering and technology collaboration. Tyndall Academy officials are taking their GMP to the school board meeting on Tuesday night for approval. It's just, it's a way for us to give back to them and to serve for how they have served us. All right, now Chloe, um, when do they expect to start this project? Well, they have to get the money first. Walter says if they get board approval, they'll break ground within the next two weeks. All right, we'll let everyone know how it turns out. Thanks, Chloe. Lots of new businesses.